masters of businesses, CEOs, Oga, how do you treat your apprentices? Did you settle them? What number of years did you assign to them? Or did you agree with them? Or was in agreement? Let me bring your notice to this. You could have been cursing yourself, setting back your clock without knowing. I'm bringing this clearly to you. If you are a master and you have not settled your servants who spent up to six years your house, for one reason or the other, you are bringing hell onto your heads. Now listen. Take note of this Bible section. Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 12 to 15, and verse 18. It is clearly written here. Let's read it. What does it say? If your fellow Hebrew, man or woman, sells himself to you, he can serve you for six years. In the seventh year, you must set him free. And in setting him free, you must not let him go empty-handed. By way of present, you will load his shoulders with things from your flock, from your threshing floor, and from your wine press. And by so doing, Yahweh your God has given to you. Remember also that you were once a servant. Hmm. Now let's go to Verse 18, he says, Do not think it hard on you to have to give him his freedom. He worked twice what a paid seven would cost you and has served you for six years. And Yahweh, your God, will bless you in everything you do. You see, God is clear. If anybody stayed six years with you, settle him well. Load his shoulders with blessings. Don't allow him to go empty-handed. God is angry. No matter your excuse, do your little best. Hold your heart, even if he stole. Even if he offended you. Do your best. Do your little best. As the Oga master, CEO, do something. He sold himself like a slave to you and spent six good years and more. Today you see people seven years, eight years, nine years, ten years and more. At the end, the person is let go to start all over again. God is angry. You might have your reasons, but it might not be sufficient in the presence of God. Do something. Do something. Even those you have abandoned long ago, go and call them back and do a little sacrifice. God says, if you do this, I will bless everything you do. And that is why some of you don't know why your containers are hanging in the high seas, why customs are seizing it, why all this burglary over it, why all these mishaps. Do something quickly now, Azoga, Master, do something. He say, don't think it is hard for some people are at a right hand. Don't find it difficult to settle him. Let him go. Don't find it difficult to let him go. Settle him. Settle him. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Now, listen to me. You, the servant, Forget what God does. 
you have to do something yes on your own part the scripture was clear apprentice listen to what i will read for you now take up proverb 13 verse 11 proverb 13 verse 11 it says a sudden fortune acquired will dwindle away. Accumulation little by little is the way to get true riches. Grab it all from your master. As a servant, you are grabbing left, right and center. You become Nigeria Limited, West Africa Limited in your God's house. You are doomed. You are doomed. Quickly return what you stole. And little thing your master will give to you and bless it. Heavy blessings are there. Don't deceive yourself. Those ones you have stolen, kept in the back, given to your people, bought landed and mobile properties, in his absence and without his knowledge, they are heaping fire on your head. You must account for it sometime in your life. So now, go quickly and return them. Servant, I'm telling you. Apprentices, I'm telling you. Boys, girls who serve is a pity. So, a word is enough for the wise masters. Servants, a warning. Don't let it be retained with you. Try and sacrifice. Do something. Do something, Oga. Do something. Boy, do something. Serve with your master with all your heart. If you are accused at the end and let go, God will fight for you. For any cow that does not have a tail, the Lord who created it will drive away the flies for it. If you have ear, listen to me. God bless you.